This is the most requested MIUI custom ROM. Introducing Radio UI Speed. What's up everyone welcome back to another interesting video on my youtube channel and today I'll be reviewing the most awaited MIUI based custom room for POCO X4 Pro the Wave UI Speed Edition. So I have the early access to it and the room is gonna be releasing today so I'll be talking about everything the pros cons, battery backup, features, customizations and most importantly the performance and gaming. So let me tell you that only 16% of the people watching my videos are subscribed to my channel so make sure to subscribe my channel for the latest updates and now let's get the video started. So guys firstly starting with the boot animation so if you are an anime lover you are definitely gonna like it it just kills in the boot animation. So it's really amazing, I really liked it. So a big thumbs up regarding the boot animation. Moving on to the software department, someone please tell me that what is this guy doing here? What's up Rockstar Games? It's your favorite doctor, lawyer, teacher, plumber, astronaut, gamer, Johnny Sins here. Let me tell you that this room is based on the MIUI 14 global version of POCO X4 Pro and obviously it's based on Android 13 and I'm using the latest security patch of 1st July 2023 so yeah that's for the software department. So guys the shout out for this room goes to wait 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 why is my name here? Um sorry guys I forgot to tell you that I have made the boot animation of this room so I hope you like it and thanks MK for giving my name in the contributor section so shout out to MK, Vivek, Sushant, Edge, Umang Pandya and all the other developers and testers for this room. So guys talking about the launcher so this room comes on the latest MIUI 14 advanced launcher with a lot of features and customizations that would be unexpected for you guys I'm telling you. Firstly on the wallpaper section you get a lot of wallpapers in the must have wallpapers tab but still if it's less for you just go back and go down. As you can see you get a lot of other wallpapers also of different categories pre-installed. And moreover, if you don't like them, then you have the super wallpapers and also the MIUI 14 theme store with a lot of wallpapers online. So make sure to check them out if you don't like any of this. Talking about the widgets, so the developer has also provided the super widgets which if you don't know consist of a lot of stylish and smart widgets like I have applied the calendar and the Shinchan one. So I can just select my favorite widgets from the widget store and apply it on my home screen and even in the new app vault which is really cool right? Nice. Talking about the launcher, things starts to change from here. I mean you get a lot of features and customizations for your launcher like you can change the transition effects of your home screen and when you click on the more option, I mean just look at the theme. The developer has provided the AOSP theme for the launcher settings which looks really cool and amazing. And moreover you also get customizations for animation speed, app vault, but if I talk about the most amazing feature, you get different unlock animations. You can also blur your search bar and you also get different monet themes for your app, which looks really cool. Apart from this, when you click on the arrange items in recent option, you get much more customizations for recent tab. I mean, you can set it in the iOS style, which looks really amazing. And in fact, you also get different clear button designs for the recent menu, like I have applied the Oxygen OS one. I mean, I don't know what the developer was thinking while developing this room and putting all these customizations. It's really an amazing work in this custom room. And let me tell you that it's just the beginning. There are a lot of customizations in this room. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Now moving on to the home screen, you get another app for customizations pre-included called the Room Controls. So when you open it, Toyota. 
Jokes aside, as you can see you get lot more customizations like extended power menu which when applied give you access to functions like fast boot and recovery directly from the power button and when you click on the option called control center you get customizations for QS panel which is amazing again. So as you can see that you can control the blur radius of the QS panel directly from here and also if you haven't noticed yet this room comes with the AOSP themed QS panel which looks really amazing with me UI. So where was I? Yeah, the control center settings. Moreover, you can also customize the number of rows and columns directly from here and after that just click on the apply button. In fact, you can also customize the primary titles from here like I want to set the screenshot button, just apply and as you can see that it gets applied properly and the screenshot also works fine. Now moving down, you also get three types of animations for your QS panel and also you can access the media player directly from the QS panel. Talking about the pre-installed apps, so this is a G-Apps build, so you get the Play Store and Google pre-installed and apart from this, you also get the other flagship and exclusive MIUI 14 applications like the MIUI Leica modded camera that consists of a lot of photography features, the new advanced file manager but apart from this, I really like this one, the advanced gallery app by which you can edit your videos and photos on the go at any time. I mean, you get a lot of features in it like adding filters, enhancing the video but things get changed when you click the pro option. So as you can see that you can also add custom templates along with soundtracks and captions which is really amazing. Now moving on to the settings you get an option called wave UI labs so when you open it as you can see you get features like anti flicker mode for preventing extensive flickering. Moving back you also get features for extra dim and you can access it from your status bar. Now, moreover, you also get features for DPI and floating windows, which is really amazing. Moving back into the always on display and lock screen settings, you get three charging animation styles which looks really cool when charging the phone. Moreover, you also get the Google Photo spoof for unlimited photo and video storage. So guys, that's all for the customizations and features. Now let's talk about the performance and gaming. So firstly starting with the performance, so let me tell you that if you want insane performance and stability you should definitely try the performance mode with Game Turbo because the developer has made a lot of optimizations and tweaks for the performance mode. Firstly starting with the N22 scores so they came out 430k which is amazing and let me tell you that you'll be surprised to see the throttle graph. So let me tell you that I ran the CPU throttle test for 10 minutes under 20 threads and there was no CPU throttle. I mean look at the graph, you get a maximum GIP score of 201k and an average of 198k which is the highest score I have ever got in a custom room of POCO Expo Pro also considering AOSP. This is all because of the performance tweaks made by the developer in the performance mode. Now talking about the gaming performance, so let me tell you that you get all the highest settings unlocked in PUBG Mobile even HDR plus extreme. So talking about my gaming performance so it's beastly and stable. You just need to turn the performance mode in the gaming turbo and you will get consistent 55 to 60 fps even considering every situation. So I would say it's probably the best gaming ROM for POCO Expo Pro till now. Now talking about the battery backup, so I got a battery backup of 8 hours 10 minutes even on heavy usage and for normal tasks you can consider 10 plus hours so a very big thumbs up regarding the battery backup. So let me tell you that 5G also works well in this custom room and I also ran a speed test to check the speeds out and the speeds were amazing. So talking about the flashing procedure, so it's really simple, you just need to flash the wave UI recovery, I've made a dedicated video on it, so make sure to check it out, link in the description. So after you have flashed the recovery, you need to open the folder in your storage and tap the wave UI recovery and swipe it. So as you can see that the room installation will start just like this and now let's wait for some time. So as you can see that I finally flashed the wave UI speed edition, now just go back into the wipe section and click on the format data option, don't mess with the advanced wipe section. So after that type yes and as you can see that the data is starting to get formatted. So the data has finally formatted, now just reboot to your system. 
Now let me tell you that this room comes pre-rooted which is a very good step taken by the developer cause most of the people and I do personally root my device for exclusive features but still if you don't want to root your device then watch the video carefully till the end. So as you can see that our phone has finally booted now what you need to do just set up everything simply like you do. Now after you have set up everything you will not find anything regarding magic so for once just reboot your device. So we have finally rebooted the device. Now when you will search for Magisk in the app drawer, it will appear there. Now don't uninstall it. As it's partially installed, we need to completely install it for removing or keeping the root. So just download the latest Magisk APK from any browser and install it. So after you have successfully installed Magisk, just open it, uh, cancel the additional setup, click on uninstall and after that click on complete uninstall. So the device will reboot itself after some time and the device will be unrooted. So here lies my conclusion, if you are looking for a MIUI 14 based custom room for ultimate performance, beast gaming and no throttling, then this is the best gaming room out there without any question. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for the latest update. So goodbye and take care.